Hi everyone, this is Pastor Henry of Dixon United Methodist Church. And for today's devotion, um, we're in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 14. And this is what it says. For he is our peace. In his flesh he has made both groups into one and has broken down the dividing wall. That is the hostility between us. Pause this video for now and read the passage to yourself a few times. And then answer the question. Answer the question, what are the boundaries and borders in your life? What are the boundaries and borders in your life? Have they been beneficial? Or have they led to negative things? Howard Thurman shares some powerful words, and I invite you to listen carefully. Despite all that has been said about the pattern of segregation in our society, it is my conviction that time is against it. The more the world becomes a neighborhood in which time and space are approaching zero as a limit, the more urgent becomes the issues of neighborliness. Man can now circle the entire Earth's surface in a matter of minutes. Communication is now instant. This means that the external symbols of segregation, the wall, the ghetto, the separate locale as a mandatory restriction binding upon groups of people because of race, color, creed, or national origin cannot survive the modern life. And so out of sight, out of mind, this can be no longer the case. As Thurman is writing in the 1960s, may we too interrogate any forms of inequality and segregation we are facing today. And this can be scary, as you and I, through privilege, may be the ones hiding behind those walls and creating those walls themselves. But as our scriptures say, the dividing walls of hostility are broken down through Christ. And so how, how may we live into that today? Dismantling the many walls that separate people in our own cities, in our own country, in our own world, and even in our own communities and families. Today, I invite you to do the following. I invite you to write. Write, research, and explore ways that you can participate in dismantling the many walls that separate people in our society. And then pray for all people. Pray for all people whose lives have been diminished because of walls, that the walls that contain them may crumble. May you all have a blessed week. Amen.